the population of western monarch butterflies wintering along the California coast has rebounded for a second year in a row after a steep drop in 2020. But researchers say it is still well below what it used to be. Volunteers who visited sites in California and Arizona around Thanksgiving tallied more than 330,000 butterflies, the highest number of these insects counted in the last six years. It was a promising rebound after the annual winter count in 2020 recorded fewer than 2,000 butterflies. In 2021, the number recorded was 247,000. Um. Yeah, I think we can all celebrate, and this is really exciting. We were all so relieved last year when we hit about 250,000 butterflies. So to see that number tick up even more, a little bit modestly this year, um, is really a good sign that we've got, I think, a second chance. Pelton said it's not clear why the population has rebounded, but one explanation could be that eastern monarch butterflies, which tend to spend the winter in Mexico, could be mixing with their western counterparts. Um, so some of the wild swings we've seen that have felt like kind of out of the realm of believability in terms of like what 2000 butterflies could possibly reproduce in a few generations like we saw from the year 2000 with 2000 butterflies to 2021, where we saw them leap back up to 250,000, you know, some of that kind of leakage could be occurring. Um, and I don't think we fully understand the system enough to say what it is, but I think one thing we know it's not is that like all is well or that we all made human actions that magically made it all better. Trained volunteers conduct the Western Monarch Count every year around the Thanksgiving holiday. It dates back to 1997 and has observed a loss of more than 95 percent since the 1980s when monarchs numbered in the millions. Scientists say the butterflies are at critically low levels in western states because of destruction to the milkweed habitat along their migratory route. This is as housing expands into their territory and use of pesticides and herbicides increases. The group normally also conducts a second count after the new year. This year's results will be announced in February and shed light on how much winter storms impacted the butterflies. So because the storms were so intense and so back to back this year, um, it seems reasonable, reasonable to assume that there might be increased mortality uh, this, this winter. Um, leading to a smaller population that'll kick off the breeding season this next spring-summer. Howard said the follow-up New Year's counts usually show a 30 to 50 percent decline in butterflies from the Thanksgiving count. Western monarch butterflies head south from the Pacific Northwest to California each winter, returning to the same places and even the same trees where they cluster to keep warm. The monarchs breed multiple generations along the way for thousands of miles before reaching California, where they generally arrive at the beginning of November. Once warmer weather arrives in March, they spread east of California.